Have you finished all your holiday shopping yet? I didn't think so. Every year I get a lot of requests to do a video featuring gift ideas for knitters. So that's what we're talking about today. Now, of course, there's always the old standby gifts such as beautiful yarn, knitting needles, project bags, yarn bowls, and all kinds of accessories. But I always try to find some gift ideas that are new, unusual, or underappreciated. So if you're interested in hearing about some suggestions for holiday gifts, or even birthday or other gifts throughout the year, then grab your knitting or other crafting, settle in, and keep on watching for my Knitter's Gift Guide 2020. Hi everybody and welcome back to U University. I'm Dr. Kelly. It's really good to see you. I know it's been a while and it's been a bit of a challenging year for all of us, I'm sure. I'm planning on recording an ancillary video in the near future just to catch up with you and talk about what my semester has been like. This is finals week, and uh, but I don't have any finals. Uh, my students will be handing in their term papers tomorrow, so I'll have those to grade, but the semester's almost over. We'll be done by Friday. I want to move right into my gift guide for this year. I have a list of 10 items and all are under $40. Most are way less than that. And as always, I'm going to put links for everything I talk about today in the description box right below this video. So be sure to expand that and you'll see all the information about today's video. I will also link to my playlist of previous gift guide videos that you can check out as well. I want to start off by saying that I'm sure you could get a lot of this stuff on Amazon, but in an effort to support local businesses, I'm going to put links to where you can find these items and order them online at smaller shops. I also want to encourage you to look for these items at your local stores if possible. You know, it just takes a minute to pick up the phone and call your local yarn shop or local bookstore to see if they have something or if they might be able to get it in for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into the list of gift ideas. And I'm gonna go through this list in no particular order. The first item in my gift guide is a brand new book and it is called Seasonal Slow Knitting by Hannah Thiessen. This book was just published in October or November and is kind of a sequel to her first book called Slow Knitting um, that was published in 2017. So these books are all about creating at a slower pace and finding the time and space to knit in a restful, calming way as opposed to the frenetic creation of one project and then quickly moving on to the next. This new book is arranged seasonally with patterns for projects suitable for each season of the year. It includes around maybe 10 to 15 knitting projects like socks, a baby blanket, a sweater, a cowl, a hat. Um, but besides the patterns, you have tips and recipes and essays and profiles of artisan yarn companies. For example, in the section about spring, she talks about spring cleaning and curating your yarn stash. The summer section explores yarn suitable for warm weather knitting. And in the fall section, you can read about reusing yarns, removing pills, and reblocking projects. So there's just a lot of knitting related content that, that's not necessarily patterns. Overall, this book doesn't have a ton of patterns, but it is a good read and the photography is really gorgeous throughout the book. It's a different kind of book for knitters and I think it would make a great gift. So again, that is seasonal slow knitting and it is around 20 to $30 depending on where you get it. The next item I wanted to talk about is a set of stitch markers. And I think stitch markers are always a great gift and you can find a million cute stitch markers on Etsy and in your local yarn shop. Um, and they usually don't cost that much. But the stitch markers I wanted to tell you about today are kind of marketed in a different way. These are called the Flight of Stitch Markers by Coco Knits. 
I think this is the cutest idea to present different kinds of stitch markers in a flight, like you would see in a wine tasting or beer tasting. In this context, a flight is a small serving of various beverages, beer, wine, vodka. It's a great way to sample different drinks to see which ones you might like or dislike. So Coco Knit's flight of stitch markers showcases five types of stitch markers, three different sizes of round ones, triangular ones, and removable circular ones. This gives you the opportunity to try out the different kinds and again, see which ones work best for you. But beyond the stitch markers, I love that this set is marketed as a flight. So you get five small containers of the stitch markers and each little mini cylinder has an illustration of the stitch markers inside. So yeah, it's kind of like a stitch marker tryout. I was thinking if you know a knitter who is a wine connoisseur or really into microbrew beer, um, they might get a kick out of a flight of stitch markers. So again, that is The Flight of Stitch Markers by Coco Knits, and the price is right around $25. Okay, so next up is a set of faux fur pom-poms. You can find these in dozens of different colors at a bunch of different places on Etsy and in yarn shops. These are some colorful ones that I got at my local Joann's last year. They are the Buttercream brand and come in 16 different colors. So this is the large size, which is about five inches in diameter. And they have a little elastic um, loop at the bottom, which you can draw through a hand knit hat, um, like I did on this one that I made. The large size pom-pom comes in bright colors like this pink, yellow, red, um, and other, other bright colors, and then a few in more natural colors like white, tan, and black. And this large size is about $6 each regular price. But keep in mind that with Joann's, they always have some kind of sale or coupon that you can use. So you can get um, so you can almost always get them for um, less than full price. Now these pom-poms also come in a medium size, which is about four inches in diameter. And they're around $3 each. Um, the medium only come in eight different colors. Um, but the, these colors are more natural, like uh, white, gray, black, and brown. Um, but they do have a light pink one and kind of a purple one. Um, these pom-poms are very soft and cute and would be a fun gift to give your knitting friends. You could get a whole set of them or just give a couple for stocking stuffers. And again, that is uh, faux fur pom-poms for three to six dollars at your local Joann's. My fourth gift idea is this cute little knitting notepad. I found this on Etsy at a shop called Gallery in the Garden, which is in New Jersey. These notepads are for keeping track of your knitting project details, and they also have one for crochet projects. The notepad itself is four and a half by five and a half inches, so it's fairly small and will fit into your project bag. It has 40 sheets in the pad, and you can specify whether you want it to say knitting notes, crochet notes, or project notes at the top. There are spaces to keep track of the pattern you're making, the yarn you're using, the yarn colorway, needle size, and your gauge information. Plus, you can write down the dates when you started and finished the project. In addition, this notepad also comes with a set of three care instruction tags that you can use when you give someone a knitted item as a gift. You can write down things like hand wash in cool water, lay flat to dry, or whatever the care instructions are. Now this little pad is two inches by 2.75 inches with plenty of space to indicate the laundering directions. You could definitely get this knitting notepad set for yourself or I think it would be an awesome gift for a knitting friend. This shop, uh, Gallery in the Garden, has other tags and cards that can be personalized, so you might want to check out the shop. But again, that is the knitting notepad, and the price is $9.50. Sticking with the stationary topic, I found some really nice knitting-themed note cards at another Etsy shop called Paper or Threads, 
which is in Chicago. Um, they sell several knitting related items like project bags, needle cases, and note cards. Now for this, I'm going to talk about the note cards because you can get a very nice set of greeting cards with hand painted knitting related artwork. Um, the designs of the front of the cards are knitted sweaters and you get five different prints with each card set. Each card has a small message in the lower right hand corner inside and the sentiments include thank you, best wishes, just because, and things like that. Okay, so the set of five cards plus envelopes is $14, but be sure to check out the other knitting themed greeting cards and project bags and so forth at Paper or Threads on Etsy. I kind of got hung up in the stationary shop mode, so here's another similar gift idea. Some personalized return address labels with a knitting theme. And this is from Chickadee Cottage Stationery Company on Etsy, and they're in St. Louis. Now, I just love using pretty address labels on my cards and letters, and I have purchased this type of address label for my friends and family as gifts, and they've loved them as well. So I think you could definitely get these for yourself or for your knitting friends. I mean, obviously the address labels are customized with the person's name and mailing address, so you would need to know that. Um, but there are 40 different ink colors to choose from, so surely your favorite color would be in there, and you can get the labels in a matte or glossy finish. They are 1 inch high by 2.625 inches wide, and have a pretty little yarn and knitting needle design on the left side. You can order between 3 and 270 address labels. The minimum order of 30 is only $9 for matte and $10 for glossy, so they're not going to break the bank. Oh, and by the way, you can also get matching stationery and envelopes from this Etsy shop, so check out Chickadee Cottage Stationery Company on Etsy. On a somewhat related note, I found some adorable knitting stickers in an Etsy shop called AdKnit. They are in Richmond, Virginia. This shop has a bunch of neat, larger size stickers with knitting themes. For example, you can get a fox wearing a knitted hat with a bowl of yarn beside it. There's also a knitting bear and a knitting frog. These stickers are perfect for someone who enjoys the outdoors. Uh, there are some national parks represented. Here is Shenandoah with the mountains and sunshine. Glacier National Park with mountains and a lake, and Yellowstone with a hot spring. Now these stickers are all vinyl, about three inches in diameter, and can be used on laptops, notebooks, cups, water bottles, you name it, whatever you want to decorate. They cost $3 each and would be perfect for stocking stuffers, or you could get one of each for a fun set to give your knitting friends. So again, that is knitting stickers from AdKnits on Etsy. All right, number eight on my list are custom faux leather tags from Archer Knits on Etsy, and they are in North Carolina. You know, I've been noticing for a while that designers are putting these small leather tags on their beanies and hats. Um, here's one from Coach, and here's one from the North Face, so you can see what I'm talking about. But you see them all over the place these days. So why shouldn't we be able to put one of these fancy tags on our knitted hats? Well, we can. And there are many different places you can get this type of tag. Like I said, um, one shop where I found them, and uh, these are faux leather, so they are vegan. And that's the shop called Archer Knits on Etsy. They have several different sizes and styles of these tags. They come in 13 different colors. You can have your name or your logo put on them, and you can also include care instructions. Some of the styles are attached to the knitted item using screws, which is kind of a neat industrial look similar to the designer hats, and for those you can use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten them. And then there are some that you just sew on, so for those there's no hardware involved. 
you can get 10 wide tags with screws for $17.50 and 10 skinny tags with screws for $15.50. Now the sew on ones are 10 for $15. I think these would be a beautiful gift for a knitting friend and definitely something different that they probably don't already have. So again, that is um, faux leather knitting tags. All right, next up is this fun coffee mug from Seven Daw Star on Etsy. They're in the US, but I'm not sure exactly where. Now I saw this coffee mug and thought it was perfect for 2020. So from a distance, it looks like it says, I need a hug. But then when you look closer, it actually says, I need a huge amount of yarn. It made me laugh and I thought it would be an amusing gift to get a knitting friend. You know, even if they don't drink coffee, they can still use a cup like this to hold pens, knitting needles, scissors, collecting loose change. There's always a ton of uses for coffee cups. Plus you can use them, of course, to drink coffee or hot chocolate or wine. So, so yeah, I think this could be a universal gift for a knitter. Now these coffee mugs are ceramic and come in two different sizes, 11 ounce and 15 ounce. The 11 ounce is $17 and the 15 ounce is $19. The design is imprinted on both sides, so it doesn't matter if you use your right or left hand to hold the mug, the design will still show. It is dishwasher and microwave safe. So again, that is a fun ceramic mug from Seven Daw Star on Etsy. The last thing on my gift idea list is really two similar items, which are from the same small business that many of you are probably familiar with, and that is Katrinkles, and she is in Rhode Island. She has tons of knitting accessories and tools in her online shop, but the ones that I wanted to talk today talk about today are um, used for blocking. Now you can find sock blockers in dozens of different shops but Katrinkles has adjustable ones, and I love that. Um, first off, the sock blockers come in different sizes, from baby size all the way up to adult size. And in addition, you can get an extension for knee socks. The adult size blockers adjust from women's size four all the way up to men's size 13, which is quite a range. Adjustments can be made to pretty much all areas of the sock, the leg, the foot, and the heel. So with these sock blockers, you would be able to handle about any size foot and leg. The blockers themselves are made out of pieces of sanded birch wood. They come in pairs and you do have to assemble them yourself. The adult size adjustable sock blockers are $32. There is an extra add-on for knee socks and the child and baby sizes cost less but I think these would be a great gift for yourself or a special knitting friend. Being adjustable, these sock blockers are just one step above regular sock blockers and that's why I wanted to include them today. Also in Katrinkle's shop, there are these adjustable mitten blockers. They work basically the same way that the adjustable sock blockers do. You can adjust the length and the width of the hand so they can be used to block pretty much any size mitten from the small to the large. And again, they are made from sanded birch and come unassembled. And a pair of adjustable knit mitten blockers is $30 and would make a fabulous gift for yourself or your knitting friends. And while you're on Katrinkle's website, don't forget to check out her other knitting tools as well as the blockers that I've talked about today. Okay, so those are my 10 suggestions for gift ideas for 2020. As I said earlier, I have a whole playlist of gift idea videos, which I'll link down below. So if you found something, if you didn't find something that interested you today, you might find something in one of those other gift guide videos. And now it's your turn. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. How are you doing? Did you see anything here today that you might consider getting as a gift for someone or even for yourself? And what other gift ideas do you have? I am interested to see in what you all are getting for yourself or for your crafty friends. And if I don't see you before the holidays, I wish you 
a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Winter Solstice, <laughs> Happy New Year, and just Happy Holidays in general. I'm going to try to record another video in the next week or so. As I said earlier, it'll probably be an ancillary video, so more informal just to catch up since I haven't seen you in a while. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart, and have a sparkly week.